Ken and Melissa VR from 14 Victor Echo here. Today, price increases from Vans Aircraft and Light Coleman Engines. Yeah, it's a sore subject with everyone right now, but we all knew it was coming and you either bite the bullet and shell out on the cash now or see what, you know, a couple months ahead are going to look like. So, we'll give you a little insight on our thoughts. Monday, February 21st, got us several emails from Vans Aircraft. One on the good news, see our other video, that our fuselage kit is going to be shipped to us a lot sooner than we expected. Still no word on the tail kit, but that is, they promise it's coming. <coughs> but for all new kit orders, their prices are going up, I think, 6.3%? Yeah, so a little over 6%. Uh, but the bigger news started March 15th, Lycoming is going up 15%. So here comes the question. <clears throat> is it worth ordering your engine now, even though you're not ready to use it? But, but what? it's still taking them a long time to make engines. Still taking them make a long time to make engines. So here's the thought process that I put through this. We best case, we'll need our engine three years from now. Maybe two and a half if we build fast and things go well. So <clears throat> it's hard. It's a hard thing to pick, but why does it matter? Why not just order the engine and have it sit here and you're ready to go? The warranty of the engine is the reason. So once you order the engine, if you're ordering one of the Thunderbolts, they're averaging about one year right now. Kind of taking a bet that they'll be late on that. Which because will, they're going to have a ton of orders. They've already had 40 or 50 in the first day since they made this announcement. I feel like it's going to be more like a year and a half yeah. to almost two years. Well, what we feel and what we're told yeah, are two different things. So we were told it's going to be a year. If you're ordering the standard Lycoming uh, 360 or 390 non-Thunderbolt, they're getting them out closer to six months. So once you get it, Lycoming will delay the start of the warranty on the engine for up to two years. So you can start the warranty on the first start of the engine, <clears throat> not when you received it, but that only goes up for two years. So assuming we got a one year order time and a two year delay on that, that gives us our three year window and really puts some pressure on us to keep going on the build. Get it together. So in order to do this, they're going to expect a 25% deposit for us to start the engine. And they're quoting me about 50,000 for the engine. Uh, if I order the engine and the propeller together, I get a thousand dollars off the engine. So now that brings up to a minimum of $9,200 for the propeller, assuming we go with their hard cell two bladed prop, could go all the way up to $16,000. So we're looking for a 25% deposit here sooner and the challenge is us having the liquid cash before we sell the house to do this question yes even if you had the liquid cash would you do it being right within the two-year window of the warranty so three years out it's we're right on the edge of this making sense now what could go wrong? I think is the, <laughs> is the better way to look at it. Yes. Uh, with all the logistics challenges out there, none of these estimates are set in stone. They might ramp up production, get it to us sooner, which would work against us. They might take their time and get it to us later than promised, which would help us. But I'm kind of in the mind of having stuff here before we need it is really your best line of defense in today's world with you just can't count on anything. So getting started earlier is better. One story the person I talked to at Vans Aircraft told me was, last time Lycoming did a um, price increase, a lot of people put their deposits down. And then, you know, six months later, they called and said, okay, I need full payment, we're about to ship your engine. And the customer said, well, I don't want it for four more years. And the guy's like, that's not how this works. You know, so, you know, 
if you do this, you need to be prepared to take delivery of the engine as soon as it's ready. Now we can store it and keep it, um, you know, conditioned for storage and go from there. But but if you go past that two years, your warranty's like nothing, or what? Um, How does that work? I have to look into the details of the warranty. You think I would do research before recording these videos, which I probably should. We'll get better at that. We promise. Um, I think you get like a one or two year warranty and a uh, hundred hours or so. Um, so, you know, we would eat into that warranty um, somewhat. So, um, yeah, how much do you really need an engine warranty? You know, there's, in today's day, you need it. A lot of, a lot of issues come out mainly with accessories. So accessories, the magnetos, the, um, People are having a hard time getting the proper yep. parts, so they're finding other substitutes, and it's just not the same anymore. So, or when we get to March, so we're going to make this decision at the very last minute, right before March 15th. Uh, it's also going to be dependent on can we liquidate the cash to uh, get the deposit in, which I'm sure we can come up with somehow. Uh, <clears throat> but it's it's a risk, um, you know. But it's kind of nice to have the uh, fire under our bellies to keep us motivated building because you know now if we yeah. take our time building we eat into our engine warranty um, so that's kind of the skinny on the like home in price increase uh, take take advantage of uh, the 15 percent discount now and that's kind of how I look at it is prices are going up so I can get it for 15 percent cheaper now, and I believe the 50000 was the current price, not the 15% uh, increase. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the 390 uh, Thunderbolt with the cold air induction. Um, yeah, all the bells and whistles. If we're going to do it, we're going to do this, right? So we're going to go all in on it. Um, I haven't decided on the electronic mags yet. Um, and that's the other challenge of this is it accelerates our research. Things I was planning on making more informed decisions on later down the path, I'm having to kind of make these decisions now. I we, thought we could do that. Uh, we have, on each. Uh, that was a theory. Uh, okay. I haven't researched it yet. I don't know. Well, I guess we weren't in the engine yet. Exactly. Now all of a sudden it's like full throttle, let's go. Yep, wasn't planning on doing this yet, but we, I am leaning towards a traditional mag and a um, electric mag, but there are some pretty advanced computer Fuel, fuel injection control systems, eliminates the mixture knob, auto mixture. Um, I'm, I, I just don't know which direction we want to go yet, but that's what research and due diligence is about. Um, hopefully some of those decisions can be made further down the line so we can tell them get started on the engine and then <coughs> tweak the uh, ignition system towards the end of the process. So that might help us. but. That's the decision we're facing now, so stay tuned and see where we go with it. We don't know yet either. <laughs>